and we're here at the Egypt Petroleum Show and joining me now is Sam Boutras. He's the Chief Security Officer with Baker Hughes at GE Company. Thanks so much for joining us, Sam. Tell me a little bit about, you know, the importance, of, well, the importance of security is basic, but how important has it grown in recent years? How has it changed? I think it's an evolution, right? I mean, security has always been a function that supports, um, the company supports the business. And I think with the uh, Arab Spring and the different crises that happened over the last couple of years, the way we look at security and the way we look at the function, it's allowed us to, to incorporate different functions, incorporate different technology to be able to sustain growth uh, and enable certain markets to uh, come back open again. So it's been very important. Of course, every oil and gas uh, installation, every asset, it's, it's huge money. This is huge investment. So security has obviously come right to the fore, even if it hadn't been before. It certainly has to be now. Um, again, how are companies dealing with it? Are you finding more cooperation among companies, pulling together, pooling the resources, pooling the information, and almost in a way learning from each other to make sure that all of these installations are very safe? Because it's not just one company working at a time. There's service companies. There's so many more people involved. And that's a really good question. I think it's one of the things we, uh, we covered at the uh, BHG annual meeting a couple of weeks ago in Florence. Unfortunately, you couldn't make it. And one of the main themes was the uh, one team, right? So we incorporate different ways that we operate internally, but also externally. So we look at you know, the oil field services like ourselves, Slumberjay, Halliburton. We also look at the IOCs, uh, BP, ExxonMobil, Shell, but also the NOCs as well, the, um, you know, Petrobras uh, in Libya and also BGC in Iraq. We need to find a uh, middle ground where we all support one another but also to drive, uh, drive cost and also optimization of the product, also optimization of the business as well. So working together will allow us to find the best solution to tackle all the crises and all the issues that arise either domestically or also internationally. And of course a secure facility, a secure company is going to be a more profitable company. I think any time, and we've seen it sadly around the world, when something goes wrong, it's a very, very expensive mistake. So there has to be an investment and there is a cost, but I think it, it ends up being very worthwhile to actually protect one's assets. Yeah, that's correct. And I think it's one of the things when we have a look at operations from the ITO phase, the intent to order. So we look, at, we look and discuss with our commercial teams, with our business teams, and identify what is the risks. And I think that's a big, big part of what we do from a security function is identify the risk. What's our company's risk tolerance? What's our company's risk appetite? From that, then we can glee on what we can do to provide the services that we need. It's always a risk versus reward. You know, when you look at oil and gas industry, it's, a, it's not a risk averse industry. When you look at compared to pharmaceuticals, uh, medical, obviously in GE, we were part of GE, we had healthcare, we had energy, we had aviation. So I think the oil and gas industry, we do have a high risk appetite, but our risk tolerance is very low. We're willing to go in and work in places like Libya, in Yemen, so the emerging markets, but also existing markets that had problems. And for us to be able to do that, we need to have the risk tolerance to be able to engage in those markets. But to do that, the business, the industry needs to know that we as a, as a security function, not just a security function, but also HSC, quality, compliance, we're all pulling in together to provide the rest, best solutions to allow our employees to work in a safe and secure environment. Now, it's great to see you here at the Egypt Petroleum Show. What do your customers want from you and what are you hearing? How are you enjoying the show? What value are you getting from it? They want cost reduction. They want optimization. They want us to partner up with them. And I think it's very critical that we do partner up with our customers. But I think it's one of the things I spoke to my team a couple of weeks ago. It's not about working closely when the, th when the time is good. It's also working through adversity and working through thick and thin. And we did that, obviously, in Iraq just recently. One of our, one of our case studies, as we did, is the issues that happened with the, um, the civil unrest in Basra, we were able to stay there in country and work with our customers. And that was a great win. And that's a story that we keep telling our customers. And I think to today, or the last couple of days, it's been able to show BHG, not just the security side of it, not just the business side of it, but we as a company work together to um, enable our customers to operate, but also allow us to operate in high-risk um, markets as well. Now, of course, every time I come by your stand, it's very, very busy here. But have you, are you having a good show? I think we have the best coffee. I think that's one of the things that's been informed to me is we have the best coffee. But look, it, it is. I think it's in a great area. Um, they like the product. They like the, their vision of the company. They like the strategy. And a lot of the questions is what's happening with the GE separation? What's happening post the GE separation? Uh, what are we getting from BHG? And I think it's a good time and a good testament for us to be able to calibrate what's all happening with us as a company, but also what's happening within the industry itself as well. Absolutely. Well, good. keep up the good work. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you very much.